Mazda's MX-5 has always been a fantastic driver's car, but outright speed has never been its strong suit. Here we have the more powerful 2.0-litre model, but will it be fast enough to keep up with its turbocharged competition? I don't know who Mazda used for their test drivers, but we seem to be able to consistently beat their claims by miles. They claimed 7.3 to 100 for the 2 litre MX-5 and we did 6.5 and a 14.7 quarter. So there's not really any trick to it. You just dial up about 4,000 RPM and drop the clutch. 143.5. Um, look, in a modern world of electronics and, uh, and cars being so driven by uh, technology, it's refreshing to have something like the MX-5 that's still very pure um, something that you can really sort of throw around, it's not overtired. Uh, it's a real driver's car. Sure, it could do with some more power and bigger tyres and everything like that, but it would take away from its great character. It's a good, fun little car on the limit. You don't have to be going at a million miles an hour to enjoy it. The MX-5 is loads of fun. Uh, it does have substantially more grunt than the 1.5, and it's a nice old analogue feeling car. It leans, it rolls, it squeals, it steer, understeers, it oversteers. There's a fair bit going on, but all of it's fairly benign, and it's just great fun. And it just revs out really nicely, um, and it's got a great gear shift. And, and even when you chuck it in, there's so much you can do with the chassis that you could go around here all day and have a little bit, have so much fun. Yeah, really fun car, really, really fun car. Uh, if you're hand fisted with it, you can get yourself into trouble with it because it moves around so much and dinks and all over steer into corners. But once you sort of get your head around that, you can use the weight transfer, the way the car shifts to your advantage. It's a lot of fun. It's driving at its most raw and basic form. It, uh, it slides, it has understeer, it has oversteer. Um, it makes you actually think more about your driving than pretty much all these other cars here because there's, there's no electronics, there's no sort of big sticky wide tyres to, sort of, uh, to make up for some poor driving. Yeah.